All right, man, I just want to share this thought that I literally just had right here in this moment. Um, I want to talk about the struggles of being an open-minded person. Um, I sometimes hate how open-minded I am as a man. Like, I sometimes hate how open-minded I am because I contemplate a lot of things. Like, I don't just let things go in one ear and not the other. Like, I always, I'm so open-minded that my mind always contemplates whatever comes up up here. So if that's like, you know, whether that's music I'm listening to, whether that's me just overhearing a conversation, whether that's somebody trying to give me some advice or whatever the case may be, my mind is always open enough to pull myself out of my own head and put myself in the other person's shoes to try to look at it from their perspective, try to look at life from their perspective and why they're thinking this way or why they have those beliefs. Like, And the troubles with that is that sometimes I pick up other people's beliefs. Sometimes I pick up other people's fears. Sometimes I pick up other people's thoughts and I mistake them for being my own. And it's like, you got to be really self-aware to know the difference between what's your own stuff and what's somebody else's stuff that you just happen to pick up along your way in this journey of life. And that's why I say, like, I sometimes hate being open-minded, bro, because that's why even right now, like, the music... I just got home, so I can actually focus on the phone, but... Like, the music I listen to, for example, like, I only listen to high vibrational music. I only listen to uplifting, spiritual, like, positive music. The only time I listen to some, like, you know, NBA Youngboy or some, like, Lil Durk or some Lil Baby or, like, some something like that is if I'm working out. If I'm working out or if I'm about to go drinking and partying and having fun with my friends, which is very rare, so I don't listen to it like that. But as of now, like, music-wise, I only listen to, like, spiritual, positive, and uplifting music because my mind is so open that my mind picks up on the melodies of these songs. My mind, I start to, like, mentally sing the song in my head. And this song could be me. The song could be about, like, opening your mind, or the song could be about spreading love, or the song could be about balancing and maintaining peace. And it's like, if that's the thoughts that's in my head, that's uplifting me as a being, whereas if the songs I'm listening to is NBA Youngboy and I'm talking about killing somebody, spinning the block, I'm talking about fucking somebody up because they keep trying me, like, those the melodies and the thoughts that'll be in my head, and it's like, that's that'll embody, that'll start to embody who I am as a person, those will be the thoughts that I'm starting to think as a person, that's how I will respond to situations that I'm experiencing in my life, so, yeah, bro, that's why, like, being an open-minded person, you got to really be cautious of what your what your mind is picking up on, what you are picking up on. And that's why I say I'm very cautious of the music I listen to. That's why I say I'm very cautious of the people I spend time with, the conversations that I have. Like, I don't even like gossiping. I hate gossiping. I hate being around gossip. And most people may think I'm disrespectful for this, but if you're trying to gossip to me, if you're trying to, like, gossip at me, share your gossip with me, I'm gonna walk away. And I walk away in the most respectful way, like, look, I don't want to hear this. And that's the most respectful way I can say that, because I don't want to tell you to shut up. I don't want to tell you to stop gossiping. I don't want to tell you to stop talking about irrelevant shit, because it may be relevant to you. It may be important to you. Gossiping may be something that you truly value in life, but that's not me. And it's like, I have to, me being an open-minded person, I got to be self-aware and self-cautious enough to know, like, that's, I'm not allowing that into my mental space. I'm not allowing that into my thoughts. I'm not allowing that into my subconscious. Because once, it's in, once it enters my subconscious mind, I have no control over it anymore. Anything that's in my subconscious, I have no control over. That's just my mind telling me what to do. And me being a human being, I'm going to follow whatever my mind is telling me to do on a subconscious level. So that's why I started consciously stay cautious of what I'm consuming on a daily, whether that's TV shows, music, conversations, environments, um, 
whether that's what I'm seeing, like your mind picks up on all this through all your seven senses. So that's why I say being an open-minded person, you got to be self-cautious, number one. And the second biggest thing is you got to be able to, you got to be able to be self-aware enough to self-reflect. I think that's another important thing is that self-reflection. You got to be able to, um, like I said, contemplate, is this my thought or is this a thought I picked up on or somebody else? Is this my habit or a habit that I picked up from somebody else? Is this my fear or a fear that I picked up along my way in this journey of life? Like you got to be able to have that moment of self-reflection on a daily because there's so many distractions in the world. There's so many opposing thoughts, so many opposing habits, so many opposing people that aren't for you. There's so many thoughts in your head right now that doesn't align with who you are as a man or woman. There's so many like fears that you're embodying right now that doesn't align with who you are as a man or a woman. And as long as you're entertaining them, as long as you're believing them, as long as you're looking at them as a part of who you are as a person, that's the more they're going to hinder you from being who you actually want to be and hinder you, hindering you from getting to where you actually want to go in life. So, yeah, man, this is, um, what was the title of this video? The struggles, oh, the struggles of being open-minded, man. The struggles of being open-minded, those are my struggles. Um, that's kind of what I go through with being an open-minded person. These are kind of the thoughts that I embody and what I think about on a daily, honestly. This is, this literally, this video is literally, this video literally defines what I go through on an internal level when it comes to just experience in life. Like, everything I do, I always have that self-reflective moment, like, why am I doing this shit? What's the purpose of me doing this? And if I can't answer that question, if I don't know why I'm doing something, then nine times out of ten, it's not something that I chose to do. It's something that I picked up from somebody else. It's a thought that I picked up from somebody else. And I'm subconsciously thinking that it's something I want to do. I'm subconsciously thinking this is a thought I want to think. So that's why you have those self-reflective moments. And, you know, that self-reflection so you can start to pick apart the things from your mind that doesn't align with who you are as a person. And the more you do that, the more you'll make room for yourself and your mental to add things that align with who you are as a man, to add things to add who you are as a woman. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave it at that. Sending peace, sending love, sending blessings as always. Elevate.